Meet the Roly Boys. You got Spoon, Do Dirty, and Freaky. Spoon is the head honcho of the rolling 60s over here in El Barro Heights, led by his father, Big Duke, aka Pops. Spoon right hand man is Do Dirty and Freaky. Do Dirty is to the left, Freaky is to the right. Both got a mean trigger finger and hate the ops. Spoon put both of his mans on with the drug game and got them iced out, ran up some paper together. Now they got the ops mad. Spoon took out this pops and never looked back. These are the Roly Boys. This is Davis. On this end, this is where the rolling 60s hang out. Davis is split in half between Treetop Pyru and the rolling 60s. Davis is normally called the low end, but mainly known for the rolling 60s. But they top up, it's a treetop pot root. Grove Street in Davis. This is where the ops lay. They rep treetop pot root. They some getting money niggas too. The 60s and the 8 trays top ops is Boney and Ray Sean, both twins from the low end, and as well known as to put anybody in the dirt as needed. Both Booney and Ray Sean caught their first body at 16 and never looked back. Booney got a fine ass chick named Tamar, who is best friend with Spoon Chick, and her name is Risha. They like the backbone between this beef, but one day, love ain't gonna get in the way of hatred. Carson Ave, A Trey Crips neighborhood. The A Trey has been in tour with the Treetop Pyrus for I don't know how long. They ended up clicking up with the Rolling 60s on the low end, giving them the title of the high end. And becoming one of the most powerful street gangs ever. That's how Spoon and Do Dirty met. This Do Dirty territory on the high end, and he run the drug game over here. Freaky run the drug game on the low end, and he a part of the Rolling Sixties. Now y'all see how everybody met up and how they clicked up. Now let's go over and meet the chicks who trying to be the backbone of this beef and stop all the hatred. <laughs> meet the bad girls. Tamar and Risha. Tamar and Risha been cool since the sandbox, I guess you could call it that. These chicks, they've been known as bad since day one. Everybody been trying to get on them. Tamar is Booney Chick. And Risha is Spoon Chick. Hey, like I said, it's weird as hell because one is a crip and one is a blood. But when it comes to the beef, they try to stay out of it. Yes, sir. All right, child. Now, y'all see, we back. We got your boy Spoon here. We at Spoon Lit Trap House. This is Crib, though. I ain't gonna fake it. He live over here in this little piece of shit. <laughs> you know, one day he gonna get something nice, but uh, right now, he gonna be living in this little junk. <laughs> Glad I ain't got no bugs, man. Shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let that little piece of right there on the table. That's from the other day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, but yeah, man, gotta do the dishes and all that, but yeah, we in my little, my little spot right now, man, we gotta go make a little run for Pops, like I said, man, y'all know everybody in the crew now, y'all know who the Ops is and everything, so, come on, man, you know we gotta get to work, y'all already know what's up, so your boy just got dressed or whatever, who the fuck records is this, <laughs> I don't even know who records those is on the door, but whatever, we gotta, we got dressed, man, we gotta go make a run for Pops, man. Gotta go make a run for Pops. So, uh, Pops stay li literally right around the corner. I ain't gonna lie to you. Pops stay right around the corner for me. So, we about to pull up over on his career real quick and see if he over there. Now, Pops, y'all ain't met Pops yet. But one day, y'all gonna meet Pops. But I ain't gonna lie to you. Pops, man, he a crazy nigga. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all don't wanna meet him just yet. <laughs> Dude be calling some crazy little shots. But like I said, man, I got your boy, uh, Freaky. Do dirty. They're my boys. They're my, they're my runners, man. They're gonna be uh, helping your boy out and everything. See, they go pops crib right here. Pop stay right here. Man, pops ain't even at the crib. I don't think he got the little geeks outside. Pops is a part of a biker gang, so y'all know these pops little whips right here. 
Uh, he got another whip. So that's how I know he ain't here because he know he's parking next to the bike. Better go see what these little geeks doing up on this porch. Hey, folks, what y'all doing up on Pop's porch? What y'all doing over here? Pop's ain't here. Get up out of here. He ain't here. Child ass. Yeah. Get up out of here, bro. Yeah, Pop's ain't here right now, so we're going to go ahead and handle business like it ain't, you know, like it's another day. Oh, shit. Got some ops coming this way. Oh, look. Got some ops trying to slide on us. We got to get down. <laughs> we got to get down, baby. Got some ops trying to slide on us. So now we got to go out to uh, the lab and uh, go make a few uh, runs real quick out there at the lab. Now, so y'all know. See, y'all probably thinking, okay, he say the drug game. They sell weed, coke, or crack. Nah, my boys don't sell weed, coke, or crack. My boys just in the meth game. We getting that real money. And that's what we doing. We getting that real bread and we laying low. So, uh, yeah, I'm out here. About to go get some more work so I can move with my boys. And uh, we can continue to make some money, man. That's what we doing. I got a lot, lot planned for this series, dog. Real talk. I got so much planned for this series. I hope y'all do enjoy this little series. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, for real. But yeah, your boy Spoon. Spoon ain't nothing to be played with, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Spoon is not to be played with, bro. Y'all be looking at Spoon like, uh, they need to look like uh, Julio Fulio or somebody. <laughs> nah, Spoon. Oh, police right here. Clocking. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck 12. But yeah, Spoon ain't nothing to be played with, y'all. I ain't gonna fake it to you. That boy don't play no games. He'll drop a op in a second. I swear to God, he will. But yeah, a lot of people was asking me to do Crips and Bloods, man. So I had to come up with some... You know, a little storyline in the head and shit. Fuck it. We're going to do Crips and Bloods. And you already know I'm rocking with the Crip side. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to the, to the to the ops out there, to the Bloods out there. But at the same time, you know I'm rocking with them Crips. Come on, man. Now, it's going to get real ugly with my boy uh, Do Dirty on that A-Tray side. Them A-Trays do not play no game. It's raining like a motherfucker out here. I need to probably get me another little whip. I can't be driving a uh, Hellcat out here like that. But yeah, man, um, me freaking do dirty, man. All we do is ride cats and hawks, dog. So everybody probably gonna be like, dude, get some Lambos, and we don't do none of that. We some young niggas, man. We drive Hellcats and Trackhawks, bro. That's what we do. So uh, if you want a Lamborghini, you are gonna have to talk to Pops on that. <laughs> Pops may have a Lamborghini for y'all, but us, nah, bro. We good on all that. Now I'm trying to figure out if they got enough supplies out here or do I need to actually go do a run or something. So that's probably what we're about to do. We're probably going to do a run and go do a job real quick so we can get some more supplies and all that good old stuff. And take some money back to the uh, hood. See, what I do is I take money back to the hood and I distribute with my boys, you know what I'm saying? Because without them... I don't know where I'd be in this game, man. Them boys that had my back since yay high, you know what I'm saying? Boys that had my back forever, so I gotta take care of them. So yeah, we about to slide out here. Actually, we right here. Shut. Did it stop raining? Just start raining out of nowhere. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. We'll pull up over here on the ops. Hmm. All right. I wish I locked my motherfucking door. They be tripping out here, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Boy, you ain't drinking shit out that bottle. <laughs> they be straight tripping, man. But yeah, let me know if y'all like the characters, man. Let me know how y'all, what y'all think of the characters, man. I straight came up with these characters like, like in two seconds type shit. You know what I'm saying? Created everybody, made everybody look crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all messing with the characters, bro. So yeah, I, I want to see how that operation going. I ain't got nobody in here working. This is, this is. This don't look too good. Let me see. Must purchase the perk. Oh, ah, no. Nah. So they saying I gotta buy some shit. See, I don't know where my guys that went or whatever. But uh, your, your boys is not here. So I gotta probably go do a job. Uh, let's go do a job. Let me see. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and hand do this mission real quick so we can get us some money to uh 
purchase this good old batch so we can go in and get some people to cook for us, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta go uh, steal this truck, you know what I'm saying, so we can get some of these uh, supplies. Like I say, I got bread on me, but I ain't bring that much with me, so we gotta go steal, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with stealing. So it's probably we gotta go steal that 18 wheeler again. I wonder if it's in a different little spot this time. That'd be cool if it's in a different little spot. Man, the cat got dirty as hell. <laughs> cat dirty as a mother. Let's get it. That don't even sound cool. <laughs> All right, so what we about to do? I hope dang this mother fast, man, dog. Trying to figure out if it's over there in that same little spot from last time, man. Uh, Look like it's in a different little spot. So we about to see. We're going to pull two jobs uh, before we actually um, head back to the zone and probably go uh, pull up on our old lady or something. So we're going to pull two jobs before we actually go back down in the city. Oh, damn. Y'all ain't even see that. All right, so yeah, I think this is, uh, nah, I think this is a different little spot over here. This is a different little spot, so about to see right now. I don't remember coming up no hill though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't remember coming up no hill. Dude, I need to get a car wash like that, bro. Oh shit, I ain't trying to wreck the hawk. I mean the Hellcat. <laughs> I didn't call this thing a hawk. Alright, so we definitely ain't trying to wreck the Hellcat. Hold on, who is this? What what am I what's going on, bro? Still the sand cane. Hold on, bro. Alright, so let me park my whip. Shit. Cause it look like we it look like we finna get in a little shootout out here, bro. And I ain't got time for that. Lock that. Cause I'm gonna have to come back and grab that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Man, what type of shit they got me going? Man, what's up? Nobody. Damn. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Bro, this. What type of shit is this, bro? Hold on. Ah, nah. Ah, hell nah. I'm getting. Lucky I got this vest on. Bro, what? What? I can't spaz on all these niggas, bro. Nah. I'm feeling the bullets now, bro. Hold on. <laughs> all right, y'all. Now, that shit was hella unrealistic. I ain't gonna lie to you. Your boy's supposed to be dead. Like, for real, for real. Because uh, that nigga got shot with like a thousand bullets. <laughs> Ain't no way this man that told me to come to the people territory and come steal this work. And he put me in this slow ass truck, bro. Like what? This truck slow as hell. I should have brought freaky and do dirty with me. That would have been cool. See now I know when I come to a job, I cannot come by myself. I gotta bring freaky and do dirty with me. Oh shit, we ain't going to the police. I mean the jail. All right, so we got the police on us too. We got some of the little, little drugs leaking out. That nigga got the wheel back there. I ain't gonna lie to you. He got the wheel like a motherfucker. Shit, I don't know if I'm be able to do two. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do two jobs. Shit, getting shot up like that. Come on now. Definitely don't know if I'm gonna be able to do two jobs, y'all. Y'all got to let your boy uh, chill out a little bit. Up out my way, folks. Damn. Man, that was crazy as hell, bro. I down there need an armor suit going over there. I had my little four five on me. That ain't do nothing. That ain't do nothing. 
I ain't do shit. That boy set your boy up. I still got that work though. Let's get it. <laughs> like I said, bro, that shit was hella unrealistic. All right, child, we just swooped back over here and got the whip or whatever. So now we about to go, uh, probably about to go pull up on my old lady and shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll be forgetting where her ass stay at every time I come over here, bro. Not even gonna lie to you. Shit, I don't know if she stay in West Vinewood or what. <laughs> I ain't used to this, this shit. I ain't gonna lie. We finna go pull up on her real quick, man, and I, uh catch y'all when we get up over there now we done made it over here to west vinewood and it took me forever i ain't gonna lie to you i didn't shit i didn't forgot where she stayed to be honest with you shit, i hate coming out here bro but i ain't gonna lie i do miss her and i do need some cheeks <laughs> i really do so we about to pull up on this other crib right here hold on hold up is there people's at the crib oh no i know her people's ain't at the crib uh, I went on and told that boy Freaky to pull up on me since do dirty ass ain't answering the phone. Shit. Boy Freaky said he'll be here in like three minutes. He was right by the crib. He didn't even know he was there. Boy had to pull up and grab a little gas real quick. You see your boy Freaky? Ain't playing no game. Who is this in this black truck? Bro, I be wanting to see who up in these motherfuckers, man. I be wanting to see if they got some money or something. Shit, I be trying to see if they got a little bread in there or something. Yeah, for sure. I just pulled up on them, you know what I'm saying, just to get a little gas real quick. Now I'm about to pull up on bro real quick. Just got my Jeep out the shop. You already know how we going down. Shit, we going to have to race real quick. Whoa, folks. Yeah, I might have to race with Spoon and Do Dirty, man. Them boys been talking about my hawk, trying to act like my shit ain't fast or something. Lost your mind, boy. He better be here, because he he known, he, he quick to say he gonna be at the crib, and he never there. Oh, he is. I done passed up the, look, my dumb ass done passed up the crib. <laughs> man, I'm always passing shit up. Ain't that something? I'm park my hawk outside, bro. Real talk. We finna get shit popping. Get shit popping. I'm finna go in here and see what bro on. See what he got going on and see what's going down. Shit, bro, shit a look clean. I ain't gonna lie to you. He <laughs> shit, he shit almost cleaner than mine. Hold on one second. Shit, watch out, cuz I don't even know who that. Folks, this nigga got a dead body on a. Folks, what's going on with you, man? Bro, why do you have a dead body on the ground, bro? What is your problem, fool? Like, nigga, did you smoke? You smoked two people. Ah, oh, no, nah, we're going to have to talk, bro. They broke in your crib. Man, you called me yesterday and told me you're going to have some painters here, bro. You a straight trick. This man, look at this man spoon and smoke two things on the ground. Oh, my God. Bro, we got to get rid of these bodies, bro. Like, real talk. We got to get... This nigga head in the wall. Oh, nah. Let me pull up out here, man. I might have to get dude about this porch real quick. Get your ass off this porch. Fuck wrong with you. We don't need nobody to see nothing. Wait. I thought you was dead, folks. I thought you was dead. Get your ass out of here. Thought you. Thought you. Nah, get up out. Whoa. You fighting back? Hold up. Spoon, nigga, do something. <laughs> Damn, can't fight in this little ass crib. Damn. Folks, we got to get rid of these bodies, cuz. Like, real talk. We got to get rid of these bodies right now. You got me coming over here in this bullshit, man. You should have warned me so I wouldn't be so motherfucking fresh, man. Now we got to get rid of these bodies, fool. God damn. Cold ass motherfucker. Man, I'm about to help this little dude get rid of these bodies, folk. And then, I don't know, we're going to definitely have to smoke us a little blunt, man. We'll holla at y'all, man, in that next episode, Real Talk. Got to go help bro get rid of these bodies, though. For sure.